Hello everyone, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you how to insert data in database uh, using servlet in uh, MySQL. And in the last video, as you saw, uh, how to select data from the database. I'm going to continue this uh, video and uh, in this video we will see how to insert data in database. So for that, for database connectivity in Java, uh, you have to uh, remember only three, uh, four or five steps. First, class dot four name. There is a method uh, for name where you insert the uh, driver of that class in parameter. So just com dot mysql dot jdc driver. Then the next step for create a connection. So driver manager dot get connection. First the next step for statements for create a statement. And the last step uh, last step is you have to uh, set the queries for your result. If uh, this is for inserting uh, select data from the database, but if you want to uh, um, insert the data in database, so we will change it. So let's uh, uh, see the practical work. As an ID, I am using uh, uh, Eclipse, and uh, for database, I am using MySQL Workbench. So, uh, so first of all, I am going to create a, a demo database. Like here is my database. Uh, I am going to create a demo database again. So for creating a database uh, in um, MySQL Workbench, you just click on this uh, icon or you can create from here also a file in new schema. So the name of schema is demo JDBC. So click on apply, apply, finish. Okay. So just refresh it and check where is your database it's demo jdbc okay here it is okay now i have to create some table on this database so for creating table just select the database here you can see the dark uh, dark mark here dark bold uh, jdbc uh, demo jdbc so just create a table in it so the table name is demo again or user you can take so uh, user name so the column name is u name and password so column name is password second column name so column name the type of the data is like work here and it's not a primary key i don't want any primary key so just click on apply Okay, again refresh it, select your table, here is your table user. So I'm going to fire a query here. So go on SQL for fire a new query in workbench just to click on this SQL symbol and write a query select a strict from uh, the table name is user. Okay, and just click on this icon. Uh, yeah, there is a two column, first one is U name, second one is a password. Right. So I'm going to write code for this for this. So I'm creating purely new project in uh, Eclipse. So for creating a new project in Eclipse, just click on File, the New, and search for a dynamic web project. I recently used the dynamic web project, so it's that that's why it is here. If you didn't get, just go on Other and type here Dynamic, so you can get it from here. Okay, Dynamic Web Project. Just click on Next. Here you have to put your uh, project name. So JDBC project name is like JDBC uh, JDBC insert insert. So. Just click on finish so here is your project jdbc insert so in this project first we need to create an uh, servlet file for writing a code so just click right click on the project and new then search for a servlet here oh, so servlet is here so just name of a servlet i'm going to set a name as a main so it's a package name sorry the class name is like main 
so I'm not going to uh, write a package name because it's uh, going to be default okay so there is it is need some servlet API yeah I need this API servlet API this I'm going to copy it from here if you didn't get just go go on Google and search about the servlet API you can easily download and for insert the library uh, for insert the library just right click here go on property and uh, search for Okay, just right click on this and go on your properties and just java build path and add external jar file so I have this servlet API so I'm going to open it here so all the errors are automatically gone okay so now in this method do get method you can write the code in do post also but I'm going to write the code in only do post do get you have to write these JDBC connection okay first first of all so now first uh, first step is uh, class dot phone name com dot mysql dot JDBC driver so I'm going to write it so class dot phone name sorry the class cap the letter of uh, first letter is a class is capital class dot phone name here my driver name my driver is uh, com dot mysql jdbc driver because i am using the mysql okay not oracle not so it's uh, giving me error for try catch so maybe there is some exception okay the second step is what second step we have to create a connection so for creating a connection we have a method like uh, get connection okay then the url so driver manager dot get connection there is a three parameter in this method first one is a path of your URL your database the second one is password uh, username of your database and third one is password okay so the username of database password of user link of database the link is this only uh, JDBC is a name of the database so my database name is like demo JDBC so I'm going to change it it's demo JDBC okay so it's giving me an error so just add a catch okay so it will return a connection so I have to declare a variable for uh, hold the connection connection code you have to import the connection package also the next thing is we have to create an statement this is statement okay so con dot create create a statement a statement on this particular connection okay so we have to store this connection in a statement variable statement stmt is the name of variable so I have to import the statement so just remember import this Java SQL not Java would be okay now I have to write a query for insert the data in database so stmt stmt dot execute update execute update. just remember for inserting data you have to write execute update not only execute for select data you have to write only execute so insert into what was my table name is user insert into user and the values is values is like for example I am going to value here a b c and the second value is x y z okay enough print just wait 
to print an info cross check I'm going to write take simple message data set it okay. so just let's test it now where is my java resources src default package my main.java i'm going to run it on a tomcat server wait for result Okay, when I run it in the Tomcat server, restart the server and finally, oh sorry I'm going to run again, I did wrong, so run this file, so data is inserted, okay, so I'm going to just check my database in my database I run it again so abc xyz xyz okay the second thing is the data inserted is writing on console if you want to uh, write it in uh, if you want this message is shown in web page so just come on here here and in place of system dot out dot print then you just type the out dot print uh, one more thing you have to create an object of a print writer interface print writer name is out equals to response dot response dot get writer okay now you can see the error is gone so I'm going to run it again this one data is inserted so third time data is inserted so the three entries are there if you want change the data you can change from here if we see yes that again refresh it data is inserted check in your database so the next entry is here So uh, in this tutorial you have seen how to uh, insert data in database if you have any problem to uh, uh, create the setup of all these things MySQL and you have any error you can uh, write me a mail or comment me thank you so much for watching if you like please subscribe my channel for more video for more videos related to Java web projects and uh, related to database and thank you so much for watching and wait for the next video in this in, in next two video we will you will see how to update the data and how to delete data from database using the servlet okay thank you so much for watching